Hello, my name is Renee Mdahli. I'm a civil engineering undergraduate student at the University of Manchester. We carried out a research investigating the use of rich media resources by an undergraduate engineering student. And in this video, we will share with you what we found out. In recent years, the potential for using rich media resources in higher education has increased dramatically. Rich media materials are defined as videos, audio, images, both still and animated, which are created for the purpose of learning. For example, smartphones and iPads can be used to create videos and screencasts that can be uploaded and distributed via YouTube. Lectures can be captured with specialized software and shared with students through virtual learning environments, which students can access through desktop computers, tablets, and smartphones. Students and institutions not only value the learning potential of rich media, but increasingly expect digital resources to be blended with traditional teaching methods such as lectures and tutorials. Our study examined how students used rich media learning materials in two technical first-year engineering modules delivered at the University of Manchester. Structures 1 covered the fundamental concepts of structural mechanics the second module was electrical energy supply and circuits. Significantly, both included many threshold concepts. The rich media materials provided were full lecture podcasts, key concept videos, video tutorial solutions, This shows the usage of Structures 1 key concept videos and podcasts. Note the steady usage of the videos over the semester with a sharp spike just prior to exams. If we look closer at the data, we can find out more and some interesting characteristics of use emerge. For example, only about 30 to 50% of a key concept video was watched. For lecture podcasts, this was even lower. In interviews I did with students, they reported using media-rich material mainly after lectures were finished during the revision period. In these interviews, they indicated that they were highly selective about the parts of the videos they watched. Here, we can see how students use the three types of rich media resources. The values of around 90% for revision correspond with the spike in use before the exam. These results make it clear that students found the rich media resources highly valuable for revision of technical material, particularly just before an exam. Students responded that it felt like they were receiving a personal experience or getting a private lesson. They found the short, focused nature of the key concept videos more engaging than lecture notes. Students reported that they used these videos to clarify concepts not fully grasped in lectures and welcomed the ability to have a focused explanation that could be replayed. With the tutorial solutions videos, students appreciated being able to stop and start the videos with while working on a problem. Students also felt that lecture podcasts, though welcome, were less useful than shorter videos because they were too long and it was difficult to navigate to topics of interest. You might ask, if rich media resources are so good, doesn't that mean students will skip lectures? Reductions in attendance of around 15% seem typical. You can see here that rich media resources, particularly lecture podcasts, were used by 54% of students to compensate for missed lectures. That some students are more likely to attend lectures and some less likely as a result of media-rich materials being available suggests that this allows students to approach topics using a blend of material of their choosing. So, 
While the majority of students use podcasts to catch up on missed lectures, the availability of these resources has only a small and mixed effect on attendance. There was a clear difference in how native and non-native English speakers used the material. Non-native speakers were significantly more likely to watch podcasts and tutorial solutions multiple times. Students who have difficulty following rapid technical English in lectures and tutorials are able to use the media-rich resources to compensate. In this age of smart devices which have the potential of any time, anywhere learning, it may be surprising to see the desktop computers were the most widely used device for accessing media-rich resources. In terms of tablet use, non-native speakers of English were more likely to use tablets than native speakers. For the key concept videos, there is a rapid loss of audience in first few seconds, followed by a gentle decline. Then a further rapid loss at the end of the video. Although there was a rapid drop off for both key concept and tutorial solution videos in the first few seconds, it was much higher when the video started with either a few seconds of silence or a voiceover without any meaningful visual input. The message is clear. Make sure the initial few seconds of media-rich resources are meaningful. Users were expecting concise and focused information from these videos. Short asides or unclear passages both led to loss of viewers. The spikiness in viewing of tutorial solutions videos demonstrates how viewers searched for information related to specific questions or sub-questions in the tutorial. Students expressed a preference for the shorter format resources. They thought lecture podcasts were too long and discursive to be ideal. So, what have we learned from our research into engineering students' use of media-rich resources? As the first major study to look at student behavior when using media-rich resources, we've gained a variety of insights. Students really do value and use rich media resources. They access them for a variety of purposes, most notably to supplement lectures and for revision. When students access material suggests that having virtual contact with academics at times of their choosing is a major benefit of digital material. Non-native English speakers and students with disabilities derive particular benefit from having rich media material available. Practitioners should be mindful when developing material that the file formats used are universally readable. Students use key concept videos and tutorial solution videos to obtain or check very specific information. Key concept videos should be kept as short and focused as possible. For tutorial solutions, it may be beneficial to produce a number of short solution videos rather than longer ones containing several solutions. The effects on lecture attendance of media-rich material are found to be small. In fact, some students are more inclined to attend lectures if media-rich material is available.